We are in the Monstrarity studio, um, and we just did a little, a couple covers and an acoustic set of one of my originals, and yeah, it was a good time. So the first song we did was Laid on the Line by a great Canadian band uh, called Triumph. I found out about them actually because at Humber, Rick Emmett, who's the lead singer of Triumph, he actually taught a course there. And I was in his class and he was really inspirational to me. I think one of the hardest things for me doing this, uh, like being in music, is a lot of self-doubt. And I feel like if I could tell my younger self like, like how it would be, and some of the emotional 
and mental hurdles that I had to go through and how it would all turn out. Like I wouldn't have taken it so harshly. I mean, I I still think I have like self-doubt sometimes, um, but I try not to be one of those like selfie people. Like I try to talk about real things. I try to bring real topics to people's attention. And I think part of the reason that people gravitate towards uh, my social media is because yeah, I talk about things that people sometimes don't want to face or, or, you know, they might get upset about that I'm bringing to the surface, but like, it's all based on, you know, truth and based on what's out there and, and that kind of thing. So like, it's just, but it's just getting people to have a conversation. And I think that's, that's important. <laughs> I think one band member was like, is this about a fish? And uh, I don't know, I guess they were arguing about it. I'm pretty sure it's a metaphor though, but. really fun song I just really enjoy doing it and uh, showcasing the lead vocals by 
you know, the singer from Heart, like she's awesome. Um, I would love to be singing a lot more of her songs and just her style and everything is just amazing. First time I heard about Monster Rock Orchestra, I checked it out and and it just looked like a lot of fun. And I think that's also when I started getting into kind of like the rock genres and stuff like that. So I just knew that if I did it, I would totally kill it. And I'm so happy that this year I was put in Monster Rock Orchestra and I'm part of the, the MAD program. Um, it's been great to work with Vikas and his team. I, I've just really come to love Journey and um, and the vocals and the melodies and and a lot of the messages behind their music, just a lot of their very heartfelt songs. And um, it became famous to me first by Mariah Carey. And then I listened to um, Journey's version and I was just like, I was just really blown away by by how they had done it. And I wanted to just put my spin on it. Um, so so that's why I chose that one. Lying beside you Here in the dark Feeling your heartbeat with mine Softly You're so I started to do original stuff um, because, uh, you know, I had something to say. Um, doctors have proven over and over you don't need to have animal products to survive and to thrive. So, so why, right? All the biggest um, heart disease, diabetes, cancer, it's all from animal products. Um, you know, if you have a heart attack, like the doctor's going to say you need to go on a plant-based diet, right? Like, why do you have to wait till that happens? Now I'm writing about 
you know, what I want to write about. And, and I think that's what art is, right? Like you do, you do that. And then, and so I think that's what I'm going to be doing going forward. The next song is an original song called Chains of Silence. Please check out the music video on my YouTube channel. Tragedy blues, thriving from silence, living tombs, encouraging balance. You rather fall into place than point out a big disgrace. Start them young, then they've won. The less they know, the better. players started doing some chords and um, the guitarist started to add his own things. It just had a very different feel to it. It was it was actually not something that I was expecting but I really love how it turned out. Thanks for watching. Check out some of the other videos on this channel and don't forget to subscribe.